Okay, so we have a board here that our user has sent in to us and says that it has a bad BIOS. So what we're going to do is uh, turn it on and flash the BIOS. So um, what we have is an uh, external drive hooked up to it, screen, and what we're going to do is push the power button here and get it to turn on and we're gonna see what happens as far as uh, booting so we have uh, a drive read here and so we know that the BIOS is actually being programmed to it uh, though we have no video so uh, we should hear some beeps here in a second um, and that'll signify that the process is actually writing to the board so we see that the board is actually getting power and it's actually being uh, written to so um, we'll see what's going on here uh, it's going to take a few minutes and then uh, we'll see what happens as it goes along Technically, we should hear some sounds out of it, but I don't, I don't hear anything. In the past, we've uh, actually heard it do the beeps, and sometimes we've heard it not do the beeps, so it just depends. But technically, what it should do is uh, write the drive, uh, write from this drive to the board, and then it should reboot itself uh, very indicative of what it should do in Windows actual Windows uh, uses an executable executes an emulation drive and then uh, that emulation drive is actually put into uh, the system writes to it like it was a, a floppy disk and then after it's done writing of course it reboots itself or uh, does what it needs to do to get everything booted up then restarts itself and goes from there obviously we're seeing this happen from the well what we call the old standard uh, floppy drive floppy disk and um, the actual board so we'll let it continue doing what it's doing it takes it about five or six minutes so we're three minutes into it and then we'll see what happens uh, it looks like it's done it's rebooted itself so let's see what happens here on the screen move the light out the way let's see if we actually get it fixed It may have to reboot itself after the fact, which is something that happens also. So what we'll do is turn this off. So we have it turned off, and now we'll turn it back on and see what happens. Let's see if it actually puts itself on there. So we have a video sync here, and we have the uh, BIOS screen, and we're actually seeing that the BIOS was uh, not only written, but uh, updated. So we have a... Uh, new BIOS put onto the system and uh, system looks like it's working so we're gonna call this one complete and then go on to the next one